You can easily use the manual configuration process in the administrator in order to create a new display. What you need to do is go to the Edit menu in the administrator, down to New, then we're going to select Network, and we'll go ahead and give this network a name. Down below, we'll select what type of network we want to configure. For this example, we're going to choose a TCP IP network connection. And further down, we need to enter the IP address to our display. You can leave in the default socket information unless you are using a different socket on your network, in which case you can go ahead and enter the corresponding number. Once that's done, go ahead and click on OK. And now in our network configuration screen, you can see the new TCP IP network that we created. The next thing we'll do is go back to the Edit menu, down to New, and we're going to choose Display Type. In the window that opens, you can see up at the top a description field, but right down below we'll choose the Display Controller Type of our new display. We'll select Version 3 for this example. For the technology, I'm going to use Galaxy LED. Next, I'm going to go ahead and enter the height and width of the new display that I am creating. I'm going to choose 48 pixels high by 96 pixels wide. And for the color depth below, go ahead and choose the right color selection of your display. In this example, we'll choose RGB 32,000 colors. You'll notice at the top that the description has now changed showing the information I just entered. Once this is completed, click on OK, and now you can see the new display type configured on the left. The next thing we would do is go back to the Edit menu, select New, and we're going to add a display to that type. Up at the top of the dialog box, we'll enter a description for this display. Then we'll enter the address that's configured in the display. We'll leave in number one as we just have one display on this network. We'll then choose our display type, which in our example is the Galaxy 48 by 96, which comes in by default. Next, you need to select the network that you just configured, so we're going to choose the Dectronix 1. Right down below that, we would want to put in the right time zone, which in our example is Central Time negative 6. Since in this area we do recognize Daylight Saving Time, I'm going to check that box. Once that's completed, go ahead and click OK. You'll be asked if you want to import animations at this point. If so, insert the user CD and click Yes but we won't import them in our example, so we'll click No. Then we're brought back to the Administrator window, and now our new display is configured and ready for use.